Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Kevin and today I get to try that again. So today we're out here at Chukwala Valley Raceway uh, in Desert Center, California with a VTech club uh, hosted by Club Racer. I'm in the uh, Rockstar Garage STU race car yet again, uh, but today we're do, we tried a couple new things. Uh, we replaced the fuel pump, uh, both of them in the radium uh, surge tank. So hopefully our fuel starve issues will be gone. So we're testing that today and really excited about this. It's gonna be my first time on Falcon RT660 tires. So I've heard a lot of great things about these tires. They're kind of the new, the new hot boy in town. I'm really excited to try them out. Tell y'all what I think. They're a 200 tread wear tire. They are priced very aggressively. Uh, I believe they're cheaper than the RE71R uh, when it comes down to uh, MSRP. And they are actually, from what I hear, they actually last longer and are either comparable and or stickier than the RE71R, which is a bold statement because that's been the benchmark for a very long time. So today we're gonna get some data on those tires, talk about how they wear, see what kind of pressures they like. Um, again, your results may vary. Remember, I'm in a 2600 pound-ish car with me in it. 2650, I think. So, you know, results may vary on far, as far as your pressures and your S2000 on these tires, but overall, I'm really excited to try them out and tell y'all what I think. Now, some really cool things about this particular S2000 that was built by Rockstar is that it's kind of a one-off build uh, showcasing what they really can do with a race car. Uh, the details in this car are amazing. It's the basic, um, what we would put on most cars as far as alignment, brakes, tires, wheels, all that good stuff. Love me some Titan 7 wheels. Um, and uh, really excited to get them uh, tested around those Falcons. So first session's down. Um, we are still having the fuel starve issue. Kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, also, we uh, couldn't really put down a flyer due to some traffic issues. Um, no one really spaced out correctly. I don't think it was anyone's particular fault, but we just caught lap traffic. Put down a 58.2, 158.2, um, which I felt was very, very, very slow, but according to everybody else here, it's a very slow day. Uh, Justin, did a, uh, I think a 59. So uh, right now I believe we're leading an A2, uh, but the timer didn't actually go off. So 
we're gonna have to go out again and uh, figure everything out. So in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys here what's under the hood of this car. So here it is, the F22C in all of its glory. You can see the V-mount setup is actually still there from the turbo. So it does require a uh, air separator. That's what this bad boy is. Other than that, pretty, uh, pretty standard. You can see stock header, nothing too fancy. Everything's tucked, beautiful, easy to work on. Let's see, we got our fuel coilovers here. Thank you. I think I'm, I think I'm okay. But thank you. Session two, um, tires felt better, uh, track feels a little bit quicker. Something's up with the car. It's uh, really, really, really low on power. In fact, there's a clip uh, where Justin in a stock power F-Series uh, engine just pulls on me like a freight train. It's a tough situation to be in because I'm so close to taking first place right now. I'm in second, um, but the power is just not cooperating. I took a look at the data and I'm down eight to 10 miles an hour at the end of every single straight. Eight to 10 in the front straight and the back straight and then like six to eight everywhere else. So it's a big problem. Uh, car's running fine, oil pressure looks fine. I don't know what else to look into. So I'm just gonna try and go out and just drive better and go faster uh, with less power.
car seemingly worked fine for at least one lap. Um, I don't know how, but it made decent power. I knew when I shifted into fifth on that front straight on my first hot lap that it would be a quick one. I didn't know how quick. Uh, we ended up with a 155.8, officially 0.9 on the aim, uh, which is good enough to secure first place by over a second. Justin also went out and went faster. He did a 57 flat. So I still think it's anybody's game. If he can link together a lap, he could probably get down to where I'm at. So I still have to defend. Uh, be smart about it, I can't give up. Um, but man, that was a hell of a lap. Uh, hope you guys all enjoyed that, because I sure did. Uh, the car, I learned how to pitch it a little bit differently. The RT660s, uh, they are really, really good peak grip. I needed to adjust my driving quite a bit to take advantage of all that grip. Uh, when you swap tires so often, it makes for an interesting setup changes. So we've driven this car on RC1s, on Hoosiers, on AO52s, and every tire takes a little bit of tweaking. Um, so I bumped compression, low speed compression down, two clicks in the front to give a little more front bite. And then I kept rebound the same. Um, and then I messed with tire pressures. I raised the tire pressure in the rear to about 33 hot when you're off the track in the front to 32, so that little, even one PSI can make a difference. Car turned in a lot better. I also needed to huck it a little bit more on entry. The on-limit predictability is really there. It doesn't just fall off. Um, you can slide a little bit, like slip angle, and it won't over-slow you. Uh, a lot of the RE71Rs, AO52s, they drop off like a cliff. I find that the Falcons are a little bit more easier to control the limit. Um, and so far, we'll go take a look at the tires. They look, like they're wearing very well, which of course, for grassroots guys like us, means everything. The, the, the per day cost of tires could be, for most people, the most expensive part of tracking. So again, so far so good. We are back in first place and it's been a great battle. Uh, really excited to see where Justin can go down in his car behind me. I put my little, uh, my little mark on Justin's car. Okay, session four, we went out, uh, got some data laps to try and figure out the fuel starve issue. We did end up going faster. We did a 155.3, 
which was uh, about a half second faster than the session before. That 155.3 is a uh, VTEC Club A2 class record. So congrats for us and Rockstar to uh, claim that record today and to get it all on film, really stoked on that. But I really enjoy uh, those tires. They're very precise. They seemingly don't fall off. Um, I'm pretty consistent. I believe when I did the 55.9, when I wasn't having some fuel issues, I did a 55.9, a 56 flat, and a 56.1 all in the same session, about one lap apart. So very impressed with those. I'm actually gonna go see how they've been wearing today. And uh, yeah, let's go over and check, check it out. This is the driver's side tire, which uh, coincidentally a truck wallet is the hardest tire. Um, basically it takes the most abuse because of the bowl. Um, it looks like a really nice even wear. Uh, we're not seeing the chunking over here. So it's seemingly really robust. Um, it doesn't like to be overdriven, which I personally like. Uh, it likes to stay very precise and very good on the movements. Our roll over here is pretty spot on, um, right where we want to be. And then we're at 32 hot on the front and 33 in the rear still. Last session was a bit of a bust. Um, we didn't go faster, didn't even complete a lap. Uh, clutch was giving us some issues. It wouldn't go into gear, wouldn't come out of gear. So I had to limp it in, got, get it on the trailer behind me and we're good to go. Um, but yeah, we're just headed to the award ceremony. A2. <laughs> Group A2 had a record of 158.8. And today, all the top three, the top three drivers actually broke that record. So we're gonna start with third place with AP1, Eric Walsh with a 158.1. Yeah. Good job, All right, second place with a 157.0, Team NVF, Justin Yu. Woo! <laughs> CR1. <laughs> and now the new Group A2 record with a 155.3 in the Rockstar Garage S2000, we got Kevin Burke. Woo! <laughs> Well, it's the end of the day now. Um, had an awesome, awesome time. Uh, club racer events through a spectacular event. Always fun here, always safe. The team here did, again, a phenomenal job with awards, making every, everyone feel at home, making sure everyone gets to grid on time, you know, gridding by lap time, which is always good. A little bittersweet feeling. Uh, you know, we did win, we reset the A2 class record, but the car is having a little bit of issues. So, you know, here's to hoping that we figure out the clutch issues and get the car going and hopefully it's nothing major. Again, thank you to Rockstar Garage for providing me uh, the opportunity to drive their amazing car. Thank you to Falcon Tire, making an amazing um, tire that can compete with the AO52, CR1, R71R as we've seen. Uh, I believe the two competitors beneath you were on both the CR1 and the AO52. Uh, we were able to beat out both of them on the RT660, which is awesome. Uh, also, thank you to, to Dwayne at Club Racer Events and our Compound USA for throwing this awesome time. VTEC Club events are really great. Even if you don't have a car to drive, coming and watching are, is really, it's a good opportunity to, to put names to faces and network and make a lot of lifetime friends. So, highly recommend uh, that. Uh, but now we're going to get back into the, uh, the rig and head home. Uh, Always a good day when, you know, you win and nothing is too broken, I suppose. Sorry, Justin. Seen on YouTube. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs>